Hi everyone, welcome to Suresh Techs. If you are visiting our channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe Suresh Techs. In our previous tutorial, we had seen about HTML project structure. There will be a HTML tag on top and there will be a head element inside that and there will be a body inside that. Now today, we will see some of the basic concepts of HTML. Now this is what we had seen in our previous tutorial, right? There will be something called HTML element on top and there will be something called head and then followed by a body. Now whatever you write inside a body that will be displayed in the browser. Now I write something called I am displaying. Save it and then refresh I am displaying right so this is how so is this so is this a right way to do if you want to display something in the website you just need to write in this way let me write this again now what is happening I just saved this and I refreshed it right here in the body you have written this under different sections I mean under different lines but here in the browser everything has been displayed in a single line so that means this is not a proper way to do you should always use some elements to display the content inside a body now one such element is called or the one which we use most probably in any website is called heading so this is header tag sorry this is heading tag if you want to display this is heading tag if you want to display something in bold letters right let me type welcome to Suresh tags right just save it and refresh it so this is how it looks like awesome now so this is called heading tag similarly there are different tags available for us few such are h2 if i write welcome to suresh text again save it refresh it so this is how h2 looks like so who has given this h1 and h2 so these are all provided by the html language so these are all the default tags available in html if you want to display something in bold with a big text you have to use h1 so basically if you want to if you want to keep any text that is very important you should use h1 so this is how it goes and then comes h3 and then h4 h5 and finally h6 so there are around there are around six tags for there are around six tags starting from h1 to h6 if the text is very important then use h1 if the text is least important then use h6 this is how it works let's see what is going to happen or how is it going to be displayed let me close the tag h4 h5 h6 saving this and then refreshing this right this is how it looks like consider you are developing a web application you want to display a text which should be very important right you use h1 then it displays something like this so that's all so that that's all about h1 to h6 so that's all about h1 to h6 tags this is how it looks like now you want to consider now you want to now you want to put some line below this what you what you need to do is there is some other there is some other tag called hr which is which is horizontal rule now 
so this is how you have opened it and then this is how sorry this is how you have opened this and this is how you have closed this right you could see something called a horizontal rule below this now there is no content there is no content in this tag because HR horizontal rule will direct will directly provide you a line so there is no need of any content over here even if you put some content that displays below that and there is no point of keeping this because we want horizontal rule so at that time if you don't want if there is no text inside any element you could you could close the starting element just by keeping like this that means there is no use of an end tag right so here what are we doing here we are starting the tag and we are closing the tag so both are done in a single line so this is how you can start and end a line sorry uh, this is how you could start and end a, you this is how you this is how you could start and end a tag that's nice now just put horizontal lines below all and let's see how it looks like refreshing this wow this is awesome this is how it is looking like now we had seen about h1 to h6 and we had seen about hr right now this is all fine now let's go back to our tutorial that we had seen we had seen about the heading starting from h1 to h6 attribute now you have displayed h1 and this is how it looks like right so this is the default text size that h1 is providing for us now you don't want that size you want little bigger than that you could provide some attributes to the tag so this is the tag or we could say this is an element now the attribute will always the attribute will always be formed using name value pair so that means you should write some name and then followed by a value inside this so this is the structure of an attribute this is the structure of specifying an attribute now what I'll do I'll give something called style and inside that I'll give some value called font size I'll say 50 pixels don't worry about this just think that this is an attribute because we are learning the attribute just think that this is an attribute and the attribute name is style and the attribute value is this font size colon 50 pixels don't worry don't worry much about this I am going to explain this in detail in later tutorials for now just think that this is an attribute inside a tag now I am just saving this I'm just refreshing this there is no change now what I will do I'll give 100 pixels no change is this the right way to do no this is how you should have to because the font size we have given the wrong so it has to be font minus size now I'm just saving this and refreshing this and this is this this got changed right that means if you want to modify your element you are going to provide something called attributes to your tag and that to your that to your starting tag now so in such way you can modify your elements so this is called attributes now so this is all about the attributes so basically all the elements can have the attributes and they provide the additional information about an element such as such as an header providing a font size right so we have been we have we are providing something extra to that element and 
they are always specified in the start tag as we have done this here so we have specified this in the starting tag we haven't specified this in the ending tag so that means attribute should always be part of the starting tag and they always come in name value pairs so the name and value so this is the name and this is a value right so this is how attributes will be formed now this is what we had seen already the horizontal rule how to display this you just have to display hr and a closing tag see here even if you specify see instead of this i'll keep hr right this will work this will always work i'm just refreshing this see you could see this this is working but the best practice the standard practice the recommended practice is always open the tag and close it and if you don't have the content you can you could close this with starting and end tag in this way right so this is the best practice to do right we had seen about horizontal rule now what do you mean by head right in our previous tutorial we had seen about placing a title to the page so this title basically displays over here it displays here now wh what else you can keep under head what does a head do head basically tells or it describes about the page whatever you are working on head is basically a metadata metadata in the sense data about the data that means you are describing your page you could tell you could tell what a page will do what this page is going to do so this will be useful for the seos search engine optimizations what they basically does is they'll extract data from the head element they'll basically extract the data from the head element going further we keep a lot of information under this head tag okay so this search, search engine optimizations they take the data from here because they basically describes about the page right that is that is that is what about a head head is a metadata right if you consider this now if you consider this page as head right so this slide is about head tag so this is called the data about this slide so this page is telling about the head tag now we see few now let's see few more few more tags in html the next beautiful tag is let me delete all this okay let me keep all this stuff the next tag is paragraph if you want to display something right you can display right so this is a paragraph here you could see this has been displayed as a paragraph now what does this what does this means if you want to display some paragraph if you want to display some text you will keep under paragraph you will keep under paragraph tag now whatever you write it looks like this it will be displayed i am writing under paragraph right now in the new line now in the new line you are writing something now so this is how you are writing now if you save this what would happen just think so it has to display i am paragraph i am writing under paragraph and in the second line it has to display you are writing something but see what happens here i am just saving this and i am refreshing it see everything has been displayed under a single line this is wrong we don't want that so that means what happens basically in a html program is if you keep something under a paragraph it will not follow the breaks it will not follow the new lines right it will be displayed in a, it will be displayed in a single line that's how the paragraph or the paragraph element has been structured now you don't want that if you want all to be formatted as per as per your design then what you could do so there is something called a pre pre formatted tag the tag name is pre now if you keep the same text under this sorry save save now if i refresh see so this is how it looks like so there is a new tag called pre 
so it is called a pre-formatted that means whatever you give if you give a new line right it has to display right so this is how it works so there are different there are different tags available for different types of purposes if your purpose is to display as per your format you could do it under pre tag right now you don't want to use pre instead you want to break the lines so you have one line here and you have another line here so how to break a line so there is some other tag called br okay so as I said earlier, it's a best practice to close an element always. So I'm just keeping this. So we are starting a tag and then we are closing a tag. Now, now what should happen? I am paragraph. I am writing under paragraph. Here there should be a break and this should come in the new line. Same thing happened. Since we had provided break here, so it has break here, it has provided a new, it has provided a break and it is showing in a new line now if I provide a break here what will happen what will happen it comes here and there is no break here so the A will come the A this A will come here and from here there will be a break that's how it happened A is here and then there was a break so wherever you want a new line you could always use break so that's the use of break now we had seen about paragraph break and then pre tag now this is what we had seen so far we had seen about the headings attributes paragraphs horizontal rules breaks pre element and then head tag so these are the basic the basic tags or basic elements in html that's it for today thank you so much please do subscribe to so hashtags